live from Acadiana, your local news leader. This is KLFY News 10 Morning Rush. The time is now 6.56. Let's get you caught up on today's top stories as you head out the door with the News 10 Morning Rush. Lafayette police say one man is dead after a shooting Wednesday night on East Simcoe Street. Police have not yet identified the victim. Anyone with information should call Lafayette Crime Stoppers. Good morning, Acadiana. This is News 10's Dawson D'Amico. According to the Iberia Parish Coroner's Office, the victim of Monday's hit-and-run incident in New Iberia has been identified as 45-year-old Jeremiah Wood. His family and friends spoke on his memory. Good morning, Katie and I'm News 10's Rodrika Taylor. Youngsville Police Chief Ricky Boudreaux filed a lawsuit against the City Council. His attorney Pat McGee says Boudreaux wants to get a judge's opinion on the investigation the City Council is trying to have on him. However, the Larson Act governs the city. Good morning, Acadiana. I'm News 10's Jasmine Dean. Due to the extreme nursing shortage here in Acadiana, anyone who has a bachelor's degree in any field and wants to become a nurse is eligible to enroll in the new UL Lafayette Oshner Accelerated BSN program. Good morning, Acadiana. This is Zane Hogue. Lafayette residents started having concerns after seeing hawks flying around their house and even into their windows. I'm Renee Allen. The Lafayette Public Library's budget deficit is no more. Library Director Danny Glane says a staffing had to be re-evaluated and adjustments made to the budget for materials. The Parish Council oversees the library's budget, which is funded through a parish-wide tax. Acadiana Eats brand new this week, baby. Yeah, you're right. At ATF Bistro in Youngsville, a lobster roll and a chicken thigh fried sandwich. Some good stuff. Much more coming up all day long on KLFY. We've been live all morning long here at the Community Foundation of Acadiana, of course, talking all things Sola Giving Day. It's happening right now. It kicked off at midnight early this morning and will continue until 11.59 p.m. tonight. This is the sixth annual Sola Giving Day, and you can donate to your favorite nonprofit organizations, and it goes directly towards them. To do that, all you have to do is go to solagivingday.org. As we check that forecast this Thursday, still cool right now, but later on today, we're going to be very warm and more humid. That's really what you're going to notice and a little bit more cloud coverage, but overall staying quiet. And as we head into the afternoon, that 86 will feel a little bit hotter and a little stickier outside with that humidity increasing throughout your Thursday. All right, of course, it's Acadiana Eats Thursday. Chris, you were mentioning you uh, visited ATF Bistro for your